So our next speaker is called Jessica Hirsch. She comes from New York, but she currently resides in Poland. She's a person who prides herself on her ambition and her passion for fighting social issues. She enjoys writing and participating in musical theatre activities in her free time. Her speech title is COVID Dance with Time. So please welcome Jessica with a round of applause. Good luck to Jessica. Hello everyone, my name is Jessica Gers. Today I would like to share with you my COVID-19 experience. A few weeks ago, I FaceTimed a friend and we both fearfully discussed lockdown ahead. The holidays were just around the corner, yet all we could think of was the impending doom of online learning. Of course, we have it better than most. We have access to education, our parents still have their jobs, and we have a roof over our heads. And yet, despite acknowledging our privilege in the grand scheme of things, we still felt that COVID-19 changed the fate of our lives forever. Over the past two years, I've experienced three distinct waves of COVID. Just like the tide, the pandemic swallowed me up in its madness and misery and took something from me as it retreated. The first wave was at the beginning of ninth grade. High school is the best time of your life, or so they say. Unfortunately, the high school experience was still on for my peers and me. We were only together for a few months before they closed all schools. They told us that we were going on an impromptu two-week vacation. Little did we know that we would see each other again much later in September. The people who were supposed to be my new friends were nothing more than little circles on a screen. The second wave hit pretty quickly after our reunion. Then I think I lost myself for a while. I felt stripped of my sanity and depressive episodes followed quickly after. My mental health spiraled completely. Everything was so uncertain that all my efforts felt futile. The most recent wave hit the hardest though. It all started when my roommate got COVID. Now she went out to get tested. I was quarantined in my room for 24 hours, completely isolated while everyone else celebrated the upcoming holidays. One panic attack, several tears, and multiple cups of tea later, I returned home knowing full well that one of my dearest friends was sick with COVID. I worried relentlessly, and although she is fine now, I cannot help but feel a shadow on my shoulder. Upon returning home, I learned that two very dear family members died of COVID. One family member barely escaped from its clutches. But with the grief over my former life, I have gained invaluable skills. For the price of losing my high school experience, I gained skills that no book can teach. I became more patient as I learned how to become a multitasker. There were days when I was simultaneously helping my sister with her lesson, participating in my lesson on top of several chores. It was an extreme that has made the brief returns to the chaos of normal life manageable. Over time, I have gained a new perspective. The saying goes, keep your friends close, but your enemies closer yet. I do not think I can agree. Life is so short, and because of COVID, I've discovered newfound gratitude for those I love. I try my best to keep my loved ones the closest because COVID has shown that time is something that we will never, ever get back, so we must cherish what we have. During the pandemic, I got to spend more time with my sister. I've persevered and fought through all my challenges with strength I did not know I even had, not to mention all the tech skills I've gained despite my inaptitude for technological affairs. Most important of all, I've learned that with time, everything passes. The pandemic has completely warped my perception of time. When I was young, I always took time for granted, thinking it would always be there. Heck, even three years ago, I had a surefire plan for my future. Now, though, I can't even be sure of tomorrow, much less of what will be a month or a year from now. But with that thought comes the assurance that regardless of the fact whether today was a good day or a bad day, it will pass. The pandemic is far from over, but just like all tragic events in history, it will end one day. I believe that this insight that I've gained is something priceless that will keep me mindful of my present, thus altering my perspective on life for the better. COVID-19 has changed every single aspect of our lives. That is simply undeniable. But we will learn how to live in this new reality. After all, we're all going through the same experience, more or less, which might give us hope for the future. And I do think that we can use that to our advantage to build a better, more united future. Thank you.